We have 28 manuscripts. They've been copied and copied and copied since 1380, and there are errors that have been introduced in the Hebrew text on the Hebrew side. So um, it's important to study these critical remarks to see what the original Hebrew Matthew had, uh, in Shem Tov's Hebrew Matthew, I should say. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the critical remarks on this section, and one of the things Shem Tov says is he says, um, this is Shem Tov Ibn Shaprut, the rabbi who copied Hebrew Matthew in the year 1380. He says, if you look at the genealogy in Luke, it's a completely different genealogy. And this is a contradiction the Christians can't explain. And the only conclusion you can make from that is that when Shem Tov copied Hebrew Matthew in 1380, it said Joseph, the husband of Miriam, not Joseph, the father of Miriam. Okay. So what these two manuscripts preserve here, where they have Joseph, the father of Miriam, actually don't come from Shem Tov. They're an independent witness to the gospel in Hebrew that preserves what apparently wow. is the original text here, Joseph, the father of Miriam. Incredible. I mean, <laughs> Incredible. this is huge stuff. Shalom, Torah fans. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Tap the subscription button and the bell icon. And I promise to update weekly with in-depth biblical research. Be sure to download the new MichaelRood.tv app for both mobile and home devices for even more commercial-free content.